Fantasy Island. As you can see, I'm running around with the pilot hat on. I uh, got that from uh, one of my villagers. I think it was um, Stitches, yes. I give him his three cherries and he awarded me with a nice pirate or uh, captain's hat. There he is. And they like to remind you every day that uh, there's a fishing tournament coming up on Saturday. Oh, Bob is still wearing his Christmas hat. And last night, if you've missed the stream, I had Frank from Looking Crag. He came over and watered my flowers. And today I have two new gold roses. And he bought me the Majon uh, uh, arcade machine. And Agnes has really been bugging me to get an arcade machine, so I was happy to see that. And I also got one gold rose here. And I got two more gold roses over here, but they were here the other day. So last night, because he came to visit me and water my flowers, I got three gold roses. Plus my other hundred that I have in my uh, gold rose bed. And also last night we had a visit from Celeste. And she bought me uh, the recipe for the rocket. So I'll take you down and show you my robot, but first we'll talk to Diva. Oh, look at that big fish there in the water. Oh, I wonder if we can get that. Okay. All right, we gotta turn away from her. Get our fishing net out, our fishing pole. Have to go by sound on this one. Oh, I got a tire. Well, we're just going to dump that tire right away. Sometimes it doesn't pay to get excited when you see a, a big shadow in the water. Okay, we'll get this kite butterfly. Oh my god, my aim is so bad. There we go. Now we're going to go here, and this is my uh, re recycling can. And it asked me if I want to toss something, and that's where I toss the old tires. So as you can see, it doesn't make a sound or anything, but the, the old tire is gone. Okay, let's just check up here and see if I got anything. Oh, there's Agnes up here running around. Okay, she got some words of wisdom. And I see we got fruit that has to be picked up here. She's wearing the cute dress I got her. It's called the milkmaid dress. Well, I think next week will be soon enough to buy them a new outfit if there's anything that I like at Abel's for them. Usually when a villager leaves, they leave a couple of items in the recycling box. So when you check the recycling box, every now and then you can see like, uh, Lindbergh left me a bamboo speaker and he left a military uniform that I give him. So what I did was I kept the speaker and put it out by my jukebox and I sold the uniform. So. Anyway, probably didn't get much from it, but uh, it's not cluttering up the recycling bin because that's where I get the uh, rusted parts to build the robot from Gulliver or Gulliver. 
So you gotta make sure you have room in that recycle box because every every week people things are dumped in there. So all right, I think that should be the end of the fruit. I hope. Okay, let's just have a look around. I know I didn't I didn't build my snow boy today either, so I know I gotta find the snowballs and I gotta do that. All right. I gotta catch three snowflakes for my quest. So there's one. Unless I have a quest, I don't bother getting the snowflakes because uh, I have quite a bit in storage. One more, and that'll be it for the snowflakes for today. And this is where I put my Godzilla now and my Megatron or robot. So I call him Megatron. If I uh, remember back in the late 80s, early 90s, uh, Autobots and the, uh, oh, what's, what's the other one? Autobots. Megatron. Uh, Optimus Prime. yellow guy, the beetle. Oh, what was his name? Anyway, there was quite a few of them, and uh, I used to, when my son used to come home from school, I'd sit there and watch, watch them with him. Now, today we're going to do an important thing. I'm going to move my, uh, I'm going to move my uh, moon collection up here. So what I need is, I'm going to need a shovel, and I'm going to need a couple of apples. So I'll eat one apple. And if you eat an apple, you have to uh, get rid of it somehow. There's two ways you can get rid of a fruit that you've eaten. One is to lift a heavy object, and it's gone. And the other is to go to your bathroom and sit on the toilet and poop it out. <laughs> and it works, so I'm going to plant that over here. And so i got another tree to move, so i got to have another apple. I think i got four trees, so I'm going to eat four apples. I think maybe just three to be safe. I don't want to have to run in. And I forget what happens if you don't get rid of the apples by the time you get ready to sign off. I gotta back up a little bit here. There we go. All right. Oh, there's my shiny spot. I didn't get that this morning. So I'm going to put 10,000 bells in there. So oh, I might have just screwed that up. We'll see. No, I didn't screw it up. Sometimes, depending on the action you take, you could lose the, uh, you could lose the, uh, And now, we're, I, I've been just trying to decide all day if I want to go with a, a sandy moon surface or if I want to go with... Uh, uh, okay, so now we've got a clear space here. So now we're going to put on a, our island designer and we're going to do some construction work. Okay, so how you move back and forth between the different, uh, this is to do the, uh, the ponds and pools. You can make them smaller or bigger. And over here is where your cliff construction is. 
And now which kind of path do I want? The sandy path looks nice for the moon surface. So did I select that? I'll have to go and see if I selected that. So you just hit your little X button. There. There we go. Oh, that's a little... I think that's a little light. Yeah, no, we're not going to use that one. All right, so... Dirt path, let's see that. Yeah, I think we're going to put the dirt path in here. So basically you design it any way you want. Right now I'm going to make a walkway all the way from the bottom to the top of this. And I'm going to make it at least two paths. And now this money tree, what I can do with it, I can dig it up now and plant it somewhere else. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So either you can, if you go over the same spot, it will, uh, it will erase it. So it's just somebody that's clumsy like me that goes over the same spot. Oh man! Or you can round off the corners. There we go. But I think I'm going to put my lunar uh, cart or my lunar wagon up here at this end, and of course my moon's going to go in the middle. Okay, now we'll make the double strip down. Oh, for God's sake. All right. You gotta be careful, because sometimes he goes at an angle and he goes to the spot you don't want him to. It's hard to believe I've been playing this eight months and still have to... <laughs> Still, I'd be awkward at some things. There we go. Oh my heavens! All the lights are gone from the tree. Now I read, I read uh, an update, and they said they would be around till about the 24th of February. So. You gotta be careful what you read. That's all I got to say. There, so we got the central path done. Now we're going to go and get our items. And I think I'm going to change the uh, platform to a stone path for when uh, I uh, set everything back up. Now we got to find a place for our money tree. So I think we'll plant our money tree right here. There we go. So that's done. Because you never know, you might forget it, then you'll lose a day. 
without getting your money on time. Which really doesn't matter. Oh, look at Mar Maria sitting there looking all pretty. Oh, they like to advertise the fishing tournaments. Alright, so now we are going to move all our moon collectibles up on the hill. Got enough spot. Nope. Okay, well, we can go sell some stuff. Uh, or should I put it in storage? No, we can sell some stuff. We only need room for about five or six more items. Oh, the sap suit. Yes, I'm going to keep that. I was going to wear that tonight. Actually, I will in a few minutes. But I got the sap boot, so what we got here? No, oh, no, we can't sell any of that stuff. And I did buy an item today here. I bought a laptop for 77,000 bells. All right, so let's go and get changed. I want to wear my zap suit tonight. So we're gonna go and get the zap boots on and, okay. And I got this stuff in storage anyway. Oh, thank God I was in the right uh, ingredient, not in the sand. that up royally, didn't I? Oh, I know, because it's a different walkway. All right, well, that works. Oh, my God. Sometimes I am so clumsy. back to normal, but I'll fix that tomorrow. I'll put the right stone back down tomorrow. <laughs> Turn the lights on. Oh, okay. I gotta get out of this. So, we will finish that up. Here, see what enough miles we have to get. Oh, I did make my snowboard. All right, let's get changed. Oh, they got the gray sap suit there. Got the yellow, red, blue, but I think I like the gray one. Do I have the 
Oh, here's a here's a sap helmet and wrestling mat. Okay, so now we'll get our boots on. Where's our boots? The only boots I could get are colored green. Unfortunately, would have been nice to. But there we are. So these are my power boots. Oh, I hit, didn't hit the the star button. Wait now. with the old okay do this a lot quicker there we are oh. there oh I think maybe I'll put on a pair of leggings it is winter time There we go. Now we gotta get rid of that apple. So we we'll have to get rid of your apples or any fruit that you didn't use. If this offends anybody, I'll apologize ahead of time. What up oh, there, you can see the apple's gone. So there we go. They think of everything, eh? Who would have thought that you would be playing a game where to get rid of anything in your stomach, you have to go sit on a toilet? I never did, never thought I would be doing that at this age, I'll tell you that. All right, let's go get that stuff and move it all up on the cliff and see what kind of new creation we can make. And then tomorrow night, we're going to move... Uh, night we're going to move all the musical instruments over here and maybe make a mini arcade in here but we'll see I'll have to think about that tomorrow I only do one special project a day it takes a lot of time and then I fiddle with it most of the week it might not by the time I finish today it might not be exactly what I want all right so I think we're going to go back into designer mode okay so Hopefully I can make a circle without taking all night to do it. All right, so we got our first circle. And what are we going to put there? Not the floor. I thought I was on the uh, air, the astronaut suit. There we go. So we got our first item up here. Okay, now we round the edges off here. our moon here. Okay, now we've got to move it over just a bit. Oh, I don't think I can move it with that.
No, I can't go too close to the edge. I can't do anything that close to the edge of the circle. So I think on this one, I am going to put... Uh, oh yeah, that looks pretty good there. And I think over here, we're going to put our alien. Stand back a little bit. There's our little lady, my little lovable guy. He is now here. I think we are going to put the uh. didn't go as we planned. Okay, we'll see if it goes this way. There we go. So once I get out of that, I can move place those in a little better. unfortunate but uh, satellite I think I want to put the space shuttle here no I didn't want to do that okay I might have to step back a little bit oh that's not the one I wanted I want the rocket I got it the right way. Now we got to get rid of that tree. So I'll step out of this for a minute. What I can do is I can buy the saplings at the store or I got a whole bunch in, uh, in storage and I can uh, plant as many trees as I want. Okay, so now we cut it down, then we got to dig out the root. You don't need any apples to do this part of it. Okay. <laughs> could, could you get me some? Water. Or, thank you. Your chat, oh, I got chat. <laughs> Hello, Missy Randoms. How are you? And Time Kit Cat, welcome back. Hi. I hope you're enjoying it. And uh, oh my God, I lost my rocket. As you can see, I'm a little jumpy, and this game doesn't help when I have when I have scorpions and. Uh, uh, no, I want the rocket. There we go. That is actually nice. Okay, let's put that shovel away, 
and see if we can't move it into a better position. I just love having the little costumes and the, the zap girls and the sat outfits. Okay, see if I can haul it back here. There we go, perfect. Oh yeah, now we gotta move the lunar roller over. Almost like I got magic powers there. Now for the floor lamps, I'm gonna put them down the center. And I can buy more of those with my Nook Miles. So I got the space shuttle. Got a floor light. And I'm going to move that one away from the moon. And put it down here. And I'm going to take home. Oh nice if they would line up. There we go. Now we're going to take this tree down too because I got too many items and I will replace these two trees on my island because I do like the fir trees and the pine trees. Nova Scotia is full of fir and pine so, so I will make sure I put those back up to say uh, to stay close to my native land and Nova Scotia is doing really well in the COVID we only had four new COVID cases today so that's pretty encouraging but our next door neighbor Moncton has had quite a bit since the Christmas holiday so uh, if we start increasing to six or seven a day we will probably go into uh, having restricted border access which means it's only essential travel is uh, is a, is allowed. Okay, I think we're going to put our shuttle here. Oh, I forgot to move our moon back. Yes, I got to do that too. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what our shuttle is going to look like here. get out of this again. Hmm. Now, I would love to be able to get this on an angle. As you can see, the, the doors open up. not going to go on an angle. There we go. I think that looks that looks good. And what else do I have to put up here? I got one more thing. A satellite. Oh yeah. Where do we want the satellite? I'm going to put the satellite here close to. Let's see what it looks like. I'm going to take this tree down because, as we know, there's no trees on the moon, but. I think we're going to make this a different planet. <laughs> I might have to take all my trees down. I'll have to say, sleep on that. I think I probably will because um, now that I think about it, eventually I will get uh, meteorites from uh, Celeste. And I can have four or five of them on the island. Plus, I can make the uh, star fragments uh, 
the star no nobles. Anyway, the big stars and throw a few stars up here. Okay, let's get into our island designer mode and do some construction work. Alright. So we're going to put our satellite right here. And you know what? I might put a couple satellites down because they do rotate around the, the Earth. So we can have them. I don't know if we'll get an Earth from uh, uh, Celeste or not. I think we get a sun. Yeah, we get a sun from her. Uh, I know we get a meteor from her. Oh, for God's sake, stop that. There we go. We'll round up the... No, we don't want that. There, round that edge off. And we'll round this edge off. No, take that down. I don't know if that... Oh, it works. Wowzers, that looks nice. Okay, so now we don't need that island designer anymore. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm done. Turn it around so we can get a better look of it. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Yeah, I think that it's going to look better without these trees. So I'll take these trees down now. And uh oh. Oh, run. Run. Oh, I'm going to get stung. Help me, help me, help me. Horrible. No. <laughs> I know better. <sighs> I played this game long enough. <laughs> I'll take my helmet off and show you what it looks like. <sighs> oh, look, aren't I beautiful? <laughs> oh my god, sometimes <laughs> you just gotta laugh. All right, we're going to go and buy some medicine, but I think I'll put my helmet on so not to scare Timmy and Tommy there. <sighs> Too bad I didn't have that bloody hammer in my hand. I could have uh, I could have ran into the nook, the nook and cranny, but I couldn't open the door with that in my hand, so I would have got stung anyway. So we'll just go over here and buy the medicine. I got a bunch of storage. But I'm closer, so I'll buy the medicine here. I'll just buy one. Okay, so we'll take our medicine. There, and we're back to normal. <laughs> so now I'll shake those trees before I try to cut down the other one. All right, let's go see. Let's go take the rest of those trees down. I get so wrapped up in, in a project that I'm doing and I forget that there are little uh, things in the game that will rock and sock you. <laughs> like those bloody wasps. It's winter time. Wasps shouldn't be out. <laughs> okay. So let's get our net out. And this is when you when you see a tree that's got no fruit or anything on it you've got to shake it and if you shake it the wasp nest will fall then it's okay to cut it not the other way around all right so we're going to take this tree down. oh and there goes my axe oh my god nothing's working out all right let's go get an axe you 
only thing that you can kind of tree down is the one big act. So we'll just go to the store and buy it. And they they last. Actually, I cut so few trees down, the axe will last me about four or five months. So. And like I said before, the store closes at 10. So uh, if you're going to be playing late in the night, you have to plan for storage and make sure you have all your equipment or you're going to be making equipment all night. There. All right, let's go get the job done. So I don't know if I still have my chatters here, but I was wondering where you guys are from. Uh, from Nova Scotia, Canada, and we have Tame, Kit Kat, and we have Missy Randomze. So if you want to give me your town or your state or your country, even just your country is fine. <clears throat> I know Animal Crossing is one of the uh, best-selling games of 2020, so uh, I know there's thousands of copies out there. Or millions, I should say. Alright, let's get that. My shovel. Now watch that thing give up on me. And then we're quitting. <laughs> we'll clean up tomorrow. Oh yeah, that looks better now without the trees. Hate to say it because I do love trees. Alright, we'll take these two down. Oh, I better take it. I better shake it first. Don't want to get stung twice in one night. That would just be bad. Okay, we'll shake all these trees. Except the last one. Once once you get a wasp from a tree, you don't get a, another wasp from the same tree. I see i got to put my little... Oh. And you'll get coins from your trees, too get uh, I think that's a hundred a hundred bells yeah you get a hundred bells from some of your trees not all of them and also at least once or twice a day every 12 hours you'll get an item so if you shook your tree say six o'clock in the morning uh, and found like say what did I get today uh, oh, I think I got a cream and sugar today so if I went and shook the, the trees again at uh, six o'clock tonight, I would uh, I would probably get another item. And we got a bloom coming in, so we're gonna get that bloom. There's never there's never a dull moment in Animal Crossing. My God, there's always something to do. So that's probably some type of raw material. Oh, where's the pricey? A clay, yeah, we got five clay. Now in the spring and summer, what I do, excuse me, is I cut down a small tree and let bugs land on it. So uh, there's one rare bug, the blue pestie. I think, and that's worth about 3,000 bells, so. Okay. Oh, I don't think I can get that over anymore. Maybe tomorrow I'll move the, uh, I'll move it down. But as you can see now, I got more room for a few other items that I can get. I'll bring up some uh, stars and put them up there. Got to make the oh look at that dung beetle! Oh, he's making my snow boy for me. Wow, there's two of them there. Oh, well isn't that lucky? Hopefully it'll be a perfect one. Wow. Oh, there he goes. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that luck? <laughs> no, 
Now I just gotta make sure I make the head the right size. He's got the bottom done. But you don't have much room to work here. That's a sad thing. Oh! My. Now what I gotta do is I gotta run inside a building and come back out and then there'll be another snowball forms. But you know, that one was almost done. Alright, I guess we're back. Well, maybe Maria's home or maybe Bob's home. I can just run into their house, but it's quicker than the, uh, well, Marina's not home. Bob is not home. Blue Bear's home. I'm just going to see Blue Bear. Oh, what is she doing? Oh, she thinks she's a Hollywood star. God bless her soul. All right, while we're here, we might as well have a look at the Abel sister, and then we'll go up and make that snowball. Oh, I got a nice turban from Gulliver this morning. Has a, it's a, reminds me of the one, the old, if you ever seen that old movie, Lords of Arabia? And uh, he had a turban with a feather up the middle of it. It's really quite, quite nice. Okay, chef's outfit. Oh, these jackets looks pretty stylish. I have the white one. Puff vests, sweaters. I might buy all sweaters for the team, not today. Oh, look at these cute little skirts. They look nice with your leggings. Sometimes in the summertime I wear them. Oh, oh look at this hair. <laughs> Punk week. Oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll buy that. What is this? A nose strip? Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> Uh, ready to make your purchase? Yes, free. Do I want to wear that? No. So anyway, that's neat. I'll have to, I'll have to wear it one day to show it off. Okay, we got the book. Pardon? We got another chatter, Candonian. Hey, Candonian, how are you doing? Things are good, and sometimes a little frustrating. Uh, we had a big day on uh, streaming yesterday. We finally got our spaceship to build our robots. A tarantula showed itself at 7.30 and stung me, and of course he knocked me out. And, uh, so, and I haven't had much luck with my snow boys today. And now they got this little, take that down. Don't have much room to maneuver here. Oh, come on, don't push that. This is about the third time. Oh, get away from the tree. I can't wait till I can roll it with my hands. Okay, there we go. I'll just roll it back and forth, but if I get too close to the big ball, he'll jump on it and it'll have a very small head. It will look horrible. I mean, I got a lot of space on my island. I can build these things. Don't run into the tide. Oh! Oh. 
All right, here we go again. One more time. Might have to go without a snowboy for today. All you have to do to respawn the snowball is to go into any open door and come back out. Then I want to take you down and uh, light up my Godzilla and my Megatron or Optimus Prime, depends on which one of the Autobots or the... I can't remember who the bad guys were. There's always a good guy and a bad guy. Oh, they moved both of them. Uh-oh. Now I'm going to have to roll both of them. Now we've got to find them. Or if you've tried too many times, then they just don't give you any more snowballs. So I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to build another one. All right. That's good. I wasn't having much success with them anyway. All right. So now I'm going to go down our beach and have a view. There's a pier fish there, but by the size of the uh, shadow, I know it's not a tuna or an oar fish or a blue marlin. So anyway, so we're going to give these guys a little life here. Oh, no. And as you seen last night when I was building him, you could build him in about six different, different, uh, uh, he said, she said, or he said, she's been very busy. I've had your dear lights in front of my house for real. Oh, nice. We had took them down after New Year's. Really nice. Yeah, I, I love those deer, those deer lights. Because we do have a lot of deer and, and they're always out in the in the field or you see them when you're traveling down the highway and you're looking towards the bushes. I think they are just amazing critters. Yeah, we didn't do any outside decorating this year. Um, I don't know, it was just, just a hard year to get into the mood. So, But I enjoyed decorating the island and I enjoyed decorating inside of my house. But uh, in Nova Scotia, for many years we've had white Christmases. And with the climate change now, most of our Christmases are green. So it's hard for us to transition from, from a green Christmas to a white Christmas or from a white Christmas to a green Christmas. So without the snow there to, to make everything look nice and white and beautiful, we, uh, we just had a lot of rain and the trees had no leaves in them. So they look pretty uh, destitute. Uh, that's the word. They look pretty dreary. That's it, dreary. So, so I guess I just wasn't in the mood for decorating. Plus, we moved to a new house, and the uh, the uh, light switches on the outside, the outlets, are in the right spot. And we probably have to. Do oh, she's from Scotland. Oh, wow! Scotland is one of my favorite places. Yeah, I love Scotland. I love England. I love, uh, one of my aunts was from Scotland and, uh, oh, I just loved her. Just loved her accent and, and she was just a beautiful lady. Oh, looks like Bob's got a problem. <gasps> oh, he's going to steal my rocket land. All right. 
yes, you can have it for three seventy-five. I hope I can buy those at no crannies. Actually, I have uh, a friend I've, I have on my Facebook, and he's always showing pictures of the, uh, the Scottish moors, and uh, uh, he does a lot of hiking, and he goes to the little villages and the pubs, and I mean, man, it's just gorgeous. Every picture he posts on there, I look at it, and, and hopefully once this COVID stuff is over, we'll be able to get over for a nice visit. And a lot of our ancestors come from Scotland as well, here in Nova Scotia. Oh, we just love everybody. We don't care who you are. Oh, where did my present go? Oh, here it is. Iceberg wall. Oh, I think I have that. Yeah, I do. Oh, well, I'll put that aside for Frank from Nook, Nook and Grad. It would have been nice to get the, uh, I'm still waiting for the snowman, but I gotta build, uh, I gotta build a nice, uh, I gotta build some more ice displays. Maybe that's what I'll put, uh, I don't want anything. Oh yeah, I got stuff to sell. I'm all confused here. I'm talking and playing at the same time. <laughs> all right, let's get rid of some of this stuff. I got lots of wasp nest. Oh, I want that. Sleeve of silk dress. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna sell. And we're gonna, I think we're gonna go have a dream. I'm interested to see another island tonight. I didn't, we didn't have time yesterday. It was such an action packed stream for me, anyway. Uh, like I said, I'm not the, the most thrifty gamer out there. Uh, I, we, we just got the uh, Yoshi's uh, crafting section. Well, I got to the first level, it only took me three tries, so tomorrow I gotta get into the second level. And uh, I gotta make sure I got lots of patience because there's a lot of jumping and uh, it's like swatting bugs. I'm not good at jumping either. So, well, if wants me to catch a tuna, that's not gonna happen. We can catch a damsey fly. I don't think we're gonna make a a snow boy because I don't think I'm gonna have snowballs. But I know where they uh, spawn, so I'll run up quickly and check, and then we'll go for a we'll go visit an island. Oh, I'm interested in some creativity or some ideas. Or oh, we got Sahara today. Oh, maybe I'll see what kind of rugs she got. She always has the kiln rugs, but I don't want them. I want a nice rug. So we're going to buy a rug. And I only buy the large rugs. She's got probably one of the best, best dialogues going. Alright, let's go. Now, sometimes I get snowballs in this area. Oh, I put out, oh, there's a damp sea fly. I gotta get that. Where did he go?
Anyway, on one of the islands I visit in the Dream World, they had their dollhouses outside, and I thought they looked stunning. So Marcia has a, is a kangaroo, she carries a baby in her pocket. So I thought the dollhouse would look nice outside her house. And eventually when I expand my, uh, my play area here, I will, uh... oh, there's my snowballs. Oh, look, got a done beagle. Let's see if I can't sneak up on him. He's working away. Oh, I should let him just work away at it. There. We got him. Alright, so now we got a bigger area to work with, so maybe we'll get a snowboy built. Honest to God, there's probably nobody any clumsier than me some days. The other day I had one bigger than this drop right into the river. how fast that head goes. Well, we know that's too small. So we'll just roll it a little bit. Roll it back up. <laughs> the head's too small. Oh well. Uh, at least we built a snow boy. <laughs> She's been my, I've had that her for about eight months now, so. is happy for me. I would have been happier if it was a koi. All right, now let's see. Well, we head back to the mansion there if we can't uh, can't get a damn sea fly on the way. Get a few extra nook miles. There's a lot of things I gotta buy at the store. Uh, maybe for summer, because most of the time at the store they have summer things. So 
here's the Capricorn Zodiac sign. I will probably bring out my Taurus bathtub and put it alongside there. And here's the, uh, here's the uh, different view of the house. I had two doll houses. And as you can see, the furniture inside them. And you can turn the light on and off. So the light's off, and we'll turn it back on. There we go. Great little addition to the game. All right, now we're going to go in and have a dream. Let's see what island we're going to go visit and see how creative they've been. Honest to God, I don't know where people get some of these ideas. They're just gorgeous islands. So what you got to do first, you got to find a bed. Any old bed will do. I use this one because it's downstairs. I don't go up to my bedroom. Okay, so when you lay down, should I get some sleep? Yeah, I want to sleep. And that's telling Luna you want to go visit an island. Before they came out with this, I think probably about the middle of November, I had no clue what people's islands were like, so because I never visit one. Okay, I want to dream. I don't know any islands dream code, so I just tell her to surprise me, and she picks an island for me to go visit. Fantasy Island is in the in the in the computer bank, so I don't know I don't know if I get any visitors or not from Dreamland. Let's see where she's gonna send me. We're going to Sunnyvale. Oh, that sounds like a nice place to visit. I always like to dress up when I when I go. Oh, look at that! She's got lilies in between her uh, her holly berry bushes. Oh, that's nice. This is cute. Yes, very cute. Just got a little work table here. Let me get out of there. Get on the pathway. Oh. Looks like my sewing room. I have a sewing room and she's got her loom set up. I really like this. Yeah. Yeah. And she's got the wood. She's got the wood path. You get that in the. Um, she's got a little basketball net up. I have, a, I have the two nets and I have the basketball. Something else to think about. Let's see if we can meet her villagers. I just love meeting the villagers. Oh my heavens, look at this guy. Nox. Wow, I can't believe he's got all these sartarphuses in here. I don't mean to blow out your candle. What's going on here, buddy? Uh, are you a, a Templar? A Knight's Templar? Looks like he is. Or it could be one of the Crusaders, French Crusaders, but definitely dressed like a, like one or the other of them. Oh, maybe this is the owner. She looked like she was just snorkeling. She's got her snorkeling outfit on. Oh, we got a frog. I wonder who this is. Oh, nice kitchen. Henry. <laughs> I think I got this sink. I really like this uh, 
the sink thing, yeah. But I don't have uh, the recipe for this, I think. No, it's a dresser I don't have the recipe for. I need the dresser for uh, to build the kitchenette, I think. But uh, I, after seven months, it hasn't. I haven't been able to find the pattern anywhere. Okay, so let's see who's out walking around. Sly, Sly. I don't know if I met Sly. Let's see who this is. I like the little plaza they got her, her villager set up in. Bruce's house. I think I've met Bruce, but I can't remember what he is. Oh, this is a cute little. And she's got the lily of the valley, so she's had at least five weeks of a five star. Yeah, every time you get a five star rating, you get lily of the valley. better to go down this path over here. Hmm, I see she's still got lights on her tree. Oh, they must be in a different uh, time zone. Have to be. Because uh, this morning all the lights on my tree disappeared or this afternoon, so, and in Nova Scotia, I've seen her on what islands, I have her too. This is a cute little waterfall, her camping, this is where her camper comes, they can enjoy the swimming pool in the summer, oh, I can see her Godzilla, or her scary creature, whatever people call them. And this is her house. Oh, there she is. We'll go and look at her house. She's got her bell ornament. Or we'll go have a look around. I always have a quick look in the main houses. Oh, look at that nice rug. Wow, nice flooring. I have a hamster cage, but it just doesn't seem right to put it out because some of the villagers are hamsters. I, I'm just weird that way. <laughs> but obviously she loves pets, so she's got the cat one, the cat uh, house. Oh, she's got the big teddy bear up. Oh, I didn't get a picture of... Uh, Jingle. I think that's what his name was. Okay, let's peek in here. Oh yeah, she's got the bare minimum, but I'm sure she will she'll work on it and have her house fully furnished. I think I'm going to do something different with my basement. I have my uh, computer down there in the basement, and I have my laundry down there. And maybe she's just buying turnips. They might be those places might be full of turnips, but for some reason we can't see them on uh, when we visit the island. It'll be a turnip room. Okay, that's it. So I always do them the courtesy to admire their island and see what creativity they have on the go. And sometimes the brother and sister will, or two sisters will be on the same island and they'll have two different houses. So, oh, and that's what this is. Yeah, this is, this is the other member of the, the family on this island. Oh yeah, look at the beautiful rug. This is the type of wallpaper that you get some from Savannah. She calls it her mystery wallpaper. It's a little too out there for me because outside, oh yeah, this is the fall wallpaper. Nice. But with the island, I got so much greening on my island, I leave the wallpaper outside. But you never know. I love the windows with the big snowflakes coming down. I really like that. Oh yeah, she's got a nice little bathroom in here. Oh, I think I've got the pattern for that, but gee, 
That is nice built. I'll have to make a couple of those. Let's see what she got in this room. Oh, beautiful little kitchen. Yeah. Everything you could need. Quick look in the basement and then we'll be back outside looking around. Oh, wow. She's got the northern lights. Isn't that beautiful? The Ori Borealis. I seen them one night on my island, but geez, they didn't show up until 10 o'clock, and I'm usually not streaming that late or playing the game that late, usually when I, I read. Oh, <laughs> she likes sleeping in the rain. Yes. Wow, isn't that cozy? She loves teddy bears and puppies, that's for sure. Wow. It's nothing like a good rainfall pitter pattering against your windows that put you asleep. I mean, you just got so many ideas. I mean, Christ, the games had so many options. Like in a million years, you couldn't do up all the options yourself. So it's nice to be able to visit other islands and see uh, see the options they have and what they've done and gives you some idea. Oh, who is this guy? Bertha. Oh. Wow, is she ever a cutie. I don't think I've seen half the villagers. I think somebody, uh, somebody told me that there was over 400 or 900 villagers. I can't remember how many. I think we found this house. These set of houses. Who's this house? Sly, yes, we were here. Yeah. Henry's, yeah, we were here. Henry was a little frog. So the rest of the houses must be over on this side of the island. Got the store. We got the Able Sisters. And see, oh, look at this guy. Wow, he's in camo. Sly. <laughs> wow, isn't he colorful? <laughs> what a jock, eh? <laughs> he's a cutie. Oh, she got a little seamstress place here. Extra, extra DYIs. Oh, here's the rest of the houses. Let's see who this is. Oh, we got a little bear. Oh, what's her name? Tammy. I don't know how many little bears they have. Jeez. I had Poncho. I got Valamir. I got Blue Bear. I had uh, Stitches. I'm missing a bear. I had another bear. Can't remember who it was. But they didn't stay long either. Oh, we got meringue. I've seen her quite a quite a bit lately on the island. So yeah, it's a nice strawberry nose. I've never met her when I was traveling looking for villagers, but let's see who this is. Marina, we've talked to her. And who is this guy? Bertha, we talked to Bertha. And Apple. Oh, Apple, I think, is a little bear. She 
Very pretty, cute, cutesy bear. Got the deer, she did her deer in white. Actually quite nice, yeah. Now we can see if we can make our way back. Here the mole cricket, oh my God, those are the worst thing to catch. Oh, I don't think we seen this house, did we? Bertha, yeah. There we go, we come back down here. Wow, she, she really was creative with her island. She got a lighthouse. Yeah, every island, somehow I see the lighthouses are different, but they, uh, it's what you could buy with your Nook Miles. So whatever you have at your store is the one you end up with, I think. I'm pretty sure because I haven't seen another type available for me for my island. Oh, she still has her pumpkin patch. I just give you something extra to do someday when you're bored. If you don't want to pick them, just leave them. Yeah, they don't hurt nothing. I don't know if they will show the snow boys in your dreams or not, because I haven't seen a snow boy on any island. But I want to go down here and see if she's got a robot. Oh, that's a different reef. Oh, yeah. She's got her Godzilla. Have a, a lot of friends helping you because it, it takes it takes a full year I think to pretty well get things done because uh, to make the robot you need 30 uh, re uh, rusted parts and like I said Gulliver might come to your island two maybe three times a year home and uh, I'm going to have a last look to see if I need to do anything and then I think we're pretty well done for the night and I really would like to thank the, the chatters it's made the evening more enjoyable Oh, I hate to, <laughs> you, when you're uh, when you go to sleep at night. You don't wake up like that. All right, I'm just gonna go out, have a look around, and then we're gonna do the nightly routine. And it's time to me to get busy and get a couple of things done outside of Animal Crossing. So it was a pretty good night. I got one tree I haven't taken down yet. Well, we're just going to have one more look at the... Uh... <laughs> Frank came over from Nook and Grad yesterday and he nicely watered my flowers and from the proceeds of him watering my flowers I got three new gold bushes. Okay, we're going to go up and have a, one more look at our, our uh, moon base, I guess. Oh yeah, she's coming along. Looking really good. Yeah. Yeah, 
I am liking it. I need a few more things up there to fill it in a bit, but other than that, I haven't gone over and said hi to my warrior. He's so happy, he levitates for me. few successes tonight. We got our, our moon base pretty well set up. Tomorrow we're going to do our music area. I think I got another set of drums in uh, storage, so I'll have two sets of drums out. So I need a bigger area, that's for sure. So, well, good night everybody, and I hope if you drop by, you enjoyed yourself. And uh, I don't know if I showed you the upstairs where I usually hang my hat at night. So this is a... I'll turn the lights on here. I just love that wallpaper and the furniture that goes with it. So, so we'll get changed. And call it a night. So thank you everybody for watching my stream and taking time to chat with me. And if all goes well, I should be back here tomorrow between 6 and 7. Thank you. Bye now. Oh, yeah, okay. Then you just hit that. Night all.